Tell me who ain't here to relate. I, I, I. Man, I this model, and she just bleached her toe, and I get bleach on my t-shirt. I'ma feel like an so I was high when I met her. We was down. What's up? What's up? Welcome to AJ's Den. Yes, I'm here. And today, I am in my car, getting ready to, I'm sitting in line to go to work. So, I need to hide this. Uh, but, um, I like to talk about the situation at hand, about um, the Democrat National Convention and the Republican National Convention. Democrats, they really stated um, they had emotional um, um, people who was presenting themselves and and Michelle Obama, oh my, that speech. And what I like about what she said was she was in the White House. She's in the White House with her husband and her daughters. That was built by slaves. Now, according to Fox News, Fox News said that African Americans have not contributed anything to America. So that 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 when he when that person said that because I will not mention that person's name because I'm not gonna give them exposure. That I have a problem. You have the nerve to say that that African Americans have not contributed. Almost every damn thing in the world is made by African Americans, invented by African Americans, and if their name is not on it, it was stolen by their master their slave owners so for a guy for that guy to actually say that and it wasn't a surprising thing especially from uh, Fox News they say the outrageous thing in a way but anyway giving them too much exposure but that was the most awesome thing what Michelle Obama um, said, and she was just saying, I wonder if um, Trump wife going to take that. I doubt she's going to do praiserism on that one. Um, but um, with the ladies that also took that um, saying last night, when they stood there and they called out all their kids' name, Sandra Bland, mother, Trayvon Martin mother, all these mothers that was standing speaking for their kids. You didn't see that at the Republican National Convention at all. It was all about Trump. That they mentioned about Hillary, but they at the Republican convention it was just all about his wife or his kids or and never a policy come up. That was the real concern that I um, noticed about the Republican and Democrats. It wasn't about the people in the Republican um, convention. It was about Trump. And I always said that he was a sociopath. Um she had someone to actually do really talk about what we need to change. She she had these mothers there. She had Michelle Obama there. She had her husband there. She had these people actually talking about, listen, we're going to make a policy. We're going to do a change. And when she had this, this was like, it was about us. Like how Obama got inside the office as well. And how he got inside the office, because he cared about the people. And Trump lost his way with his sociopath ass. um, Lost his way and thought 
think about himself. Like he said, and I believe it, and I'm always going to believe it when he said that I can go in Times Square and kill somebody and wouldn't lose a vote. For a candidate who's running for president, we really don't need it. And I advise everybody to go out and vote. I see the cities that they ran. There are conventions that um, the Democrat ran it in Philadelphia, um, where mostly African Americans are having a hard time. And problems are occurring. They did not get away from reality. Now, on the other hand, a Republican had their convention in Ohio, who, by the way, is the most racial, racist place that you could ever go at. I know how I know that. It's because I used to travel there back and forth. And you can see how many people have died in the hands of the police officers in Ohio. Tray, um, not Trayvon Martin, um, Tamir Rice was one of the young kids who was just a child and was killed and struck down by an officer who jumped out, didn't try to investigate, and shot him dead. That, by the way, was forewarned to the police department that he was not fit to be a officer. But they employed him anyway. So, it shows that most of these Caucasian who's in the Repu- who was in the Republican, not even Caucasian, African Americans, they're delusional. They know really not what's going on in life. That's why they had to have it in Ohio. I just look and I think about um, how this world will be if Trump is elected president. I started listening when I saw the things what Trump was saying and his daughter was saying. It's like everything was already accomplished with the medical, the equal pay for women. All that was accomplished in Obama, President Obama turn. So I'm just questioning this. What are you saying? If he get in there, then you are okay everything because he's a Caucasian male. And you'll say that he's the one that gave everything is because he's a Caucasian male. And it should be permitted in office because he's a Caucasian male. You will allow these policies. You will not fight. It's because he's a Caucasian male. The Republicans, the Senate, the Congress have really made it hard for Obama. Through this whole President Obama. Through this whole, through his whole turn. Now, Cruz, Paul Ryan. Well, I I can't even say really Cruz. Well, Cruz is representing, um, endorsing um, Trump now, but Paul Ryan say I do not agree with anything what um, Trump says, but I will back him. I I know Trump saying some racial and bigger bigotry comments, and I disagree with them. This is Paul Ryan said the Speaker of the House, third in place of President. I do not agree, but I'm still going to endorse him, and I'm going to stick by him. Where is your integrity? Where is it at? You sit up here and you say that you do not support Trump, Paul Ryan. But then all of a sudden you do support him. All these Republicans keep on saying that they do not support Trump and his bigotry. But they endorse him and they support him. No integrity at all. As if you if you disagree what Trump is saying, then have your integrity and say, I will not support this man. 
this man is going through um going against everything the forefather was talking about even though they they didn't think slavery was going to end but the forefathers did say all men are created equal Trump is talking about building a wall and letting the Hispanics, Mexicans. I mean, come on. Put a wall. If it wasn't for diversity, we wouldn't have half of the things that we have in the United States. Diversity is a must. People, I just think, I don't think people are thinking of what's going on or what they're going to do or what, what, what I, I, mean, I think all they see is what he's saying. He want to make America great again. And I continue to ask this question, where's the policies at and what are you talking about? Do you want to go back to in 1862 before the emancipation in 1863 that was the emancipation? And I'm going to always say that because are you trying to take it back all the way to slavery because that shit is not going to happen. I tell everybody, it's not going to happen if you think that we'll go back in slavery. You're insane to even think that way. I was watching a video again. I was watching this uh, Caucasian and was mad because this African-American female didn't get up out of the seat and say, I'm voting for Trump because I want you to put your, your asses back into the field. What field? If you think that, Go ahead and think somebody's going to get back and feel and clean your toilet. No, we're not going to do that. At the end of the day, you're going to wind up putting your own people in slavery because you either we either going to kill you or you kill us. Because we are not going back to 1800s or, or 1700s. It won't happen. And it's sad that it have to be that way if someone sit up there and try to take it back of of making America great. Why don't you just come straight out and say, I want to make America white again. Like the senator who's, well, the guy who's running for senator in North Carolina, he said, uh, I want to make America white again. That's when we had control. You took control from our people. Come on now. You're crazy if you think you'll go back to that. It's not going to happen. It's not, you, what, you're going to put back out laws again, um, forbidding African, African Americans of reading, writing, all that? Are you going to do that? Huh? Are you? You forgot what your same Bible that white men, Caucasians, Europeans said that they wrote. The person who is down shall come up. So if you do not want to release that power, then so be it. And I said it on my show before. You will release it voluntarily or involuntarily. That's good that you do not represent the GOP propaganda because there's a lot of propaganda out here that lie about uneducated African Americans. Uh, We are violent people and I tell them all the time, if we're violent, you're violent because our ancestors picked up that violent from the Caucasians. So at the end of the day, you can't say all African Americans are violent or volatile people. We're not. We're not uneducated. Most of the Republicans love saying um, we're lazy. Right now, I'm in line getting up here. I work every day. I have, and I always state this, I have my own house. My car is paid off. 
Everything is paid off except my house. So at the end of the day, how could you say someone is lazy? I'm not. Everything that I have accomplished, I have received, I got it on my own. So for someone to sit up there and say that we're lazy and we do not do anything and we want somebody to hand us something, we don't want you to hand us a damn thing. But it's in the Constitution. It's in the Constitution. So I had to broadcast this day to really let people know what's going on and how I was thinking and how I felt about the situation at hand of how I noticed a lot of things, what's going on in um, society and the, in the um, Democrat National Convention and just I had to broadcast this to let you know. It's going to be a short um, talk about this today. It's because I had a busy day. I got up early, had to take care of my car, going out of town, and I had to just do a lot of things, and I'm a little tired right now. And I'm just getting ready to go to work, and um, it just was on my mind of a lot of stuff that I have been seeing, and people are trying to avoid it of talking about it, and I'm here to talk about the situation at hand or what's going on and why things are occurring like they are occurring. Um, I can't stand when someone um, try to preach that propaganda um, uh, about us and um, and, and the sociopath, that, that green head monster with that uh, toupee on top of his head. He got all. He's supposed to have all that money and that toupee on top of his head, and he do better than that. You know, sad that I had to call name call, but this guy, that's all he know is ridicule, um, ridicule people, talk about people, spread lies about people, and I look at uh, when I was watching. The Republican National Convention, it was like I could see all these white faces and it's like it kills me that they really think that they're going to get this back. They're going to go back in time. It's not going to happen. I'm going to continue to say that. Keep on believing the hype. If you think it's going to happen, then have forth and be forth and love it. But at the end of the day, it's not going to happen. If you think it's going to happen, then sad to say you're going to get reminded at the end of the day because you cannot let something out of the bag and think, oh, it's going to walk right back in that bag voluntarily. If any of you Republicans are listening to me, I'm letting you know now. It's not going to happen. Any of you Trump supporters listen to me, I'm letting you know now. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Before I get off here, I would just like um, you guys to know, yes, it's short today. Um, I'd like you guys to know that I am going on vacation, so you can listen to me on demand. Um, just hit play and listen to me, what I ha- have had to say in the past. Um, I might record while I'm on vacation. Most likely I'm, I will not. I'm not going to promise, but it will be on Monday. My times are on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 10. I was late today because I had to um, get my car done. Um, 10, um tend to whenever I want to stop because nobody control me. This is my station. Um, I just want you guys to know you need to uh, watch what's going on. You need to vote. Not only in a primary election, you need to vote in a general election. This is the reason why I'm saying we need to vote in a general election. And I'm talking to my people. African-American people of color. Because 
we need to get the senators and the Congress people out of office who are not helping our cause. And I'm not even just saying our cause. I'm not saying just for the people of color. I'm talking about people in general because it's poor Caucasians too that's voting against their own needs because they want to hurt the people of color. I cannot understand that, but you know what? President Johnson said it so clearly. I have said this plenty of times on the air what he said, and I'll repeat it again and you can look it up. He stated, you can get a professional man who may have a PhD. He didn't say PhD, but I'm just putting my little two cent in it. Someone who has something going on for themselves as an African-American man. And you can put him in front of this Caucasian who have nothing. And you tell that Caucasian that he's better than that African-American man. And he will believe it and he will go against any of his needs. While he's, while he's going against any of his needs, you on the side of him picking his pocket. Because he's standing in front of that African-American man and he's believing that he's better than that African-American man. And he's basically he's saying he will vote against his own needs just to hurt that African-American man. Or African-American people in general, period. And that is the case, what's going on here, that most of these people who's at the Republican convention, that these people of 1% do not see them, nor do they know them. But they will vote against the Democrats or independent is because... He, because it's helping, it's going against African American people or people of color. And that is something that you cannot understand because they're going against their own needs, but they don't care. Reason why they don't care is because they have so much of hatred. Inside their heart, that they say, I just don't care if it's going against me. Long as the African Americans do not have to be successful or, sub- or succeed on anything. So they will sit there, and clap, and say, Yay for, uh, yay for Trump. But knowing they're going against their own needs. Going against their own needs, people. Every day. Does that make any sense? But, hey, President Johnson said it clearly. That's what they would do. Go against their own needs. So, until you guys wake the hell up. And see that none of this is for you and they're not for you and they have no concern about you. Then we're going to always have problems. When we have people who think they are superior over another person, the other person is inferior. We're going to always have problems in the United States. And it's crazy because people think they're superior because their skin is pale. By skin color. By skin color. Do that make any damn sense? By skin color. That's it. You can't say that you're you're more knowledgeable than a, a person of color. Because again, everything around this whole United States are invented by African America, a person of color. And if you look on billboards or you look around downtown in your in your state, most of this stuff on these buildings are representing Africa. It comes from Africa. 
but you think you're superior than a person who have color on their skin. That makes no sense at all. And we can go in depth with this. A man would think he better than a woman because he have a penis between his legs. Do that make any sense? Everybody want to dominate everybody. Stop trying to dominate people. Because guess what? We all bleed the same blood. And it's red. Everybody's blood is red when the air hits. Everybody go through the same thing. And it's amazing. Let me tell you something. What is amazing? A person who's so racist may need a heart and get an African American person heart but still call you an animal, then maybe you're an animal because that heart fits your body. So how you call us animals uh animal when that same Animal heart fit your heart. Or that same animal liver fit your liver space. It's interesting, huh? But we're animals. Last time I checked, an animal heart, liver, lungs, do not fit in people. So where you get this idea from saying that we are animals. It's sad to even imagine what you think of us. <sighs> Things to think about. Clearly, how people think and really think that they're better than somebody is because of the color of their skin or because the sexual, how they was born. You think you're better than someone That's all I have to say to you guys. I want you guys to have a great day. I will see you on. I will talk to you on Friday. I'll be a little longer than this because I know I'm gonna talk about the um, convention, Democrat convention, and uh, I mean it was beautiful what Michelle Obama have said, what she was saying. The White House was built by slaves. Never heard a speech like that. That just hit me home. Our ancestors built that. But they try to say they're better than us. Our ancestors built the pyramid before they came along. And when I say they, Caucasian, Europeans. But we are not that knowledgeable. Or we are not that intelligent. Or we are lazy. If you read history... And you want to get in depth about it? I can call you guys lazy because you could, you didn't want to build anything, so you had to go and get slaves to do your carton fields and and build your buildings. You didn't do it. You didn't do it at all. You didn't do a damn thing around here. You didn't even get the overseers who was over the. Uh, slaves didn't even do it. They just whipped the slaves into making them do everything. But you call us lazy. How dare you call our ancestor lazy? And how dare you call us lazy? Or you'll sit up there and say we're on welfare. Nope, 96% of white, uh, Caucasian people are on welfare. Let's, don't, 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 don't sit up there and lie and tell lies about something like that. 
Special to me. Because that won't work with me. Have a great day. I used to think that I wasn't fine enough And I used to think that I wasn't wild enough But I won't waste my time trying to figure out Why are you playing games?